Hello everybody, alright, it's Bulbachu here, it's Terratober 2023, and we are here to play Resident Evil Zero. So let's get to it. Um, I'm pretty excited to play this one, because this is, uh, so, out of like all the Resident Evil games, the mainline ones, I've played them all. The only ones that I have not played and beaten has been Resident Evil Zero, I played it a long time ago and never got through it, and Resident Evil 6. Every other mainline one I've beaten, so I'm pretty excited. This is going to be some new stuff for me, and it's been so long since I've played it. That really, the only thing I remember is the train setting, and the train setting being cool, because it's a cool setting. Um, but yeah, let's do this. I'm excited. I hope you're excited and ready to play. Let's see what kind of extras we got. We got manual, gallery, and credits. Oh, okay, look at this. A lot of stuff to unlock, a lot of pictures to unlock, a lot of, a lot of JPEGs. Oh, look at this. <laughs> okay, cool. That's cool that they kind of give you like an old school manual, but not really. For more detailed instructions on how to play the game, please download the manual from the website below. I wonder if that link still works. <laughs> you can change costumes by following the steps below. Select your personal item on the status and then select switch. Oh. I love that that's like its own page out of this five page manual. It's how to change your look at them. Those are some nice outfits though. Um they cost one ink ribbon to save and they are limited, so use them wisely. Yeah. Okay, cool. Anyways, yeah, this is uh, Resident Evil Zero. I'm excited to play this. Again, I've played the beginning of this, but it was a long time ago. Oh, we could play in wide or original. Oh, look at this. You literally... Wide just stretches it out. That's all it does. You see, you get no extra... You actually get less real estate. Because the bottom part, you can see, like, on the, the wide one, the bottom is cut off compared to the original. So we're actually going to go original. Shit, I wasn't... I wasn't prepared for that. Hold on. Listening mode, let's do... Oh, really? Okay. Well, subwoofer? Okay, sure. Uh, no, but... Let's just keep it on controls, type A, type B, type C, type D, type D. Oh, my God. Moving character, moving character, moving character, moving character. Okay, so what's the difference here? Solo, team, map. Map is left trigger. Ugh, I don't like that. Oh boy, um, map on X is awful, map on right trigger also awful, map on bumper is better, and then this is map on Y, no, that's awful. Left trigger, man, why would left trigger be the map? That is awful. Solo team, alright, what's, uh, all right, so what's shoot? Action attack plus aiming, how do you aim? Aim is right bumper, no. Fuck that. I don't want aim on right bumper. Left trigger. Attack is right trigger. Okay. That's a little better. Aim. Man, there every every option is aim on right bumper except for one where it's left trigger. You know, let's do that one then. So aim left trigger, attack right trigger. Uh, a is confirm, reload is B, switch character is Y, status is X, map is right bumper. Okay. That's not the best, but. Alternative or. Oh. Oh, so you can even have it so you run with B, or I think it's just you always run okay huh yeah I guess we'll do that weird yeah, let's do that what's A so A is this this is how you're the like official way right Aim and shoot. No, fuck that. 
Yeah, we're going to go back to D. All right, we're going to do D original. So I want to be able to control when I run. And okay, let's do that. All right. Brightness. This is usually fine. Language. Language. Good. Oh, no. No, 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 no. There you go. Oh, weird. Oh, okay. I was about to say that's like a weird. 1080, full screen windowed, full screen, vert, sure. Oh, yeah. Frame rate, refresh rate, frame rate. Let's do 60. Anti-aliasing, I don't know. Shadow quality, high. Texture quality, high. Oh, man, I don't know which one of these is. I don't know what the fuck AA3 and AA3 HQ is, but we'll, we'll try HQ, I guess. Oh. There we go. Display. Use widescreen and original. We're going to use original. But with that, that means I'm going to have to adjust. I'm going to have to adjust. So... I don't know much. Resident Evil Zero is an interesting one because it's like there isn't like you don't really see people talk about it too much. Like Resident Evil 1 is a classic. It's the original. People love it. Resident Evil 2 is like the de facto one for older folks. Resident Evil 3 is kind of like people like it less than 2. It unfortunately followed up 2, which was so good. I personally love 3 Nemesis, but um, I can see why people don't like it as much. Four is like the one that everybody loves. It's either Resident Evil uh, two or four. Um, and four is the one that everybody loves. Resident Evil five, people really didn't like, but it's kind of like turned around a little bit. The co-op stuff is weird. Resident Evil six is the one that everybody hates. Seven and eight are pretty much universally loved. Um, but nobody ever really talks about zero. It's weird. It's like, it's it doesn't fall in anywhere. It's just like, kind of forgotten in a way um the only thing that i know about it because i did a little bit of research before we played before we started was this game is stupid unfairly hard on so we're gonna go normal i don't want to get stuck i don't want to have no complications uh code veronica we got really close to not being able to proceed don't want to run into a situation like that we're gonna play on normal normal still supposed to be stupid hard well not stupid hard it's supposed to be hard um this one and Code Veronica are like together in difficulties. Usually people lump them together. So we're going to go with normal. Uh, besides that, yeah, I don't... Like I said, I played this a long time ago. I played it and um, I never got through it. I don't even think... I know you get out of the train at some point. I don't think I got much further than that if I even did. I remember nothing past like just the memory of running around a train. So, and uh, there's no storage box. I know you got to like throw things on the ground or something weird like that. So we'll see. Uh, yeah. So let's do this. I hope you're excited. I am. Let's fucking go. Resident Evil Zero. Yeah. Okay. Control type. Yep. Subtitles on. Yep. A Midwestern town in America. Raccoon City. A solitary island far off in the sea, Rockfort Island. An island that would become the second raccoon city, Sheena Island. There are still many unanswered questions about these seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic events. Though it is believed that the International Enterprise umbrella was somehow involved, little is known as to the origin of this faceless corporation. When was it established? By whom? And how was the T-Virus created? To uncover the truth, we must delve deeper into the events which transpired in the beginning, before the mansion incident. July 23rd, 1998, Raccoon City Forest. Hmm. Do you think so too? Yeah. Do 
Oh shit. Oh. Yeah. Is he singing to him? It began as a simple investigation of some bizarre murders in the suburbs of Raccoon City. Was this Alpha Team? In our training, could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. We never stood a chance. What's going on? Engine failure. Emergency landing. Okay, so this must be Alpha Team. Okay, cool. Hey, Rebecca. Check the current position and investigate the surrounding area. Captain, look. Is that Barry? <gasps> no, that's not Barry. What happened? Court order for transportation. Prisoner Billy Cohen, ex-lieutenant, 26 years old. Court martialed and sentenced to death July 22nd. Prisoner is to be transferred to the Regathon base for execution. Those poor soldiers. They were good men just doing their jobs. And that scum murdered them and escaped. All right, everyone. Let's separate and survey the area. Our friend is brutal and ruthless. Keep your guard up. We're just going to ignore the helicopter crash then. Now everybody split up. This is Rebecca Chambers, right? I think so. Ecliptic Express. The door to safety is shut. There is no turning back. I love how the door to safety is shut. That's cool. All right, fuck it. Yeah, let's go. All right, we got good old fashioned tank controls. Good. How I like it. Okay, back. Aim, shoots. This is map. Train, okay. That goes, in, oh man, I'm going to hit this a lot. It's square on my controller. So that's going, I'm going to hit this a lot by accident. Uh, examine? This is just a box. A uh, set of tools used to mix and prepare medicines. Switch. Oh, cool. Let's see what kind of, okay, so we got starters. This is the original. That's from... <laughs> Or, uh, the original Resident Evil. That's from the director's cut. Man, that's not really a good, like, military outfit in. Like, these two make sense. This is just, uh... Oh, okay. Sportswear. Cheerleader, nice. Western. Leather, yeah. Nurse. Oh, wait, these actually have names. Hold on. So this is from Resident Evil 2. This is from Resident Evil Deadly Silence, which I want to play one day. That's, um, if I remember right, that's the Resident Evil 1 
game remade for the DS, if I remember right. And I've been trying to... I found it once, like, locally. And it was expensive, so I didn't pick it up. But now I regret it because I, I can't find it again locally. And I really want to. I really want to play that version of the game. It seems like it'd be fun. Uh, this is from the original Resident Evil. Leather, Resident Evil Zero. Resident Evil 3D, the mercenaries the nurse outfit. Stars prototype and Resident Evil Zero. Okay. And cancel. All right. So let's stick. Oh, wait, hold on. That was costumes. This is a t shirts. Oh, we can change our t shirt. Resident Evil. These are all Resident Evil Zero t shirts. Aim for the head, Resident Evil Zero. Nurse. Jill Sandwich. The Umbrella Research Center umbrella. Umbrella Research Center. Wasn't Rebecca Chambers the one in that book that goes to a research center or something like that? I think, yeah. All right, cool. Anyways, that's fun. Uh, let's switch this back to that. What do we got? Handgun. What do we got here? Look at that. Stars RPD special. The Mod Samurai. Yep. Special team. Uh, hers is like etched and everything. The standard equipment for Stars officers. It uses 9mm Parabellum rounds. Okay. Examine. Luger high power bullets for handguns. Short Owen 22 shot high velocity. Okay. All right, and then that's that's literally it. And we only have 3 slots. Oh, that's that's bad. Or like 3 3 rows in two columns. That's very bad. Um, what do we got for options? Same thing, probably. Yep. What else we got? Files. Player's Manual. Player's Manual 1. View status screen. Press X during play. You cannot view this screen under the following circumstances. During event movies, when taking damage, when weapon is readied. The status screen allows you to equip weapons, use weapons, view map, view files, leave items behind. You can press map in the status screen or press RB during, uh... Play. If you do not have a map for the area, you can only see locations already visited. Reading the room. Blue room, your current location. Green room, visited locations. Green, or no color. Locations not yet visited. Red, locked, yellow, unlocked. So no... So no, like, um, you've completed this room coloring, I think. When viewing the map, you can press the item list by pressing A. Types of list contains types of items left behind, locations of items left behind. Pushing object can be moved, face an object and move away. Hold to move the object. Climb and dismount and raise platform. Press A to climb. High weight, high waist high surfaces. You can also climb onto movable objects. Equipped in weapons. Choose your weapon from the items in the status. Equipped. Okay. Attack. You will turn towards the nearest enemy with the current equipped weapon. While in attack stance, plus right trigger, you'll attack with the currently equipped weapon. B while left joystick down. Check item details. Examine command. Okay. What else we got? Court order for transportation. Oh, here we go. Court order for transportation 1598A-7635. Prisoner name, Billy Cohen. ID number, Delta-1036. Former second, former second lieutenant, Marine Corps, age 26, height 5 feet 9 inches, weight 163 pounds, transfer designation, uh, Regarathon Base. <clears throat> Convicted of first degree murder, court martialed and sentenced to death by the 0703 Road Military Tribunal. Round? Road? I don't know. Sentenced to be carried out upon arrival. Sam Samuel Regan, Commander, Dunnell Marine Base. Okay. Sounds like a like a duck being squished or something. All right. Uh, map we looked at. Oh, and we can't choose partner apparently. Okay. Partner. All right. Here we go. I'm excited. It's locked. Okay. Luggage lies strewn about the cabin. The seats are stained with red, uh, red with blood. Hey, right. you're not gonna say nothing about that body that's right there. 
That that body's gonna get up for sure. Oops. Hold on, I'm just getting used to the controls. Okay, I don't need to do left. It says you should use left stick to do like the B backwards thing, but you can also just use the D-pad, which is how I'll be probably playing this game. <clears throat> just use about, okay, nothing about this bag. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, yeah, let me just do something really quick here. Yep. Uh, any game? Let's take that off. Let's take this. Normally, I do this before I start. But since... <clears throat> since I didn't know this would... that the way, I didn't realize the way it would work, which is it would cut off things in widescreen... I want to make sure. Let me just set this up really quick. Anyways, I hope everyone's having a good October. My favorite month. Definitely the best one. It's pretty much like the start off to all the good shit. You got, you know, obviously Halloween, amazing. Then you have uh, Thanksgiving, which whatever about Thanksgiving, but the food is great. And then after that, of course, you got the holidays. It's like, hey, we decided, hey, let's just take all the good shit and just shove it in like a three month period of time instead of spreading it out. Which is silly. Okay. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, Resident Evil. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me just set something up. Let me just look this up really quick. Yeah. We were playing the PC version of this game. The weird thing about PC games, especially like newer ones, is they don't really have box covers in the way that like games used to. So when I'm looking things up. I generally don't get what I want. You know what I mean? Let's do that. Let's do... Okay, that should be good. I think that's fine. Are there any other cool... Like, I like looking at different box covers um, for, like, different uh, countries and stuff because there's often, like, there's just, like, different box, box art and stuff and it's kind of cool to look at. Um, okay, these are going to be good enough. Um, that's going to be way too small. That's going to be, oh, uh, there we go. Okay. Save image. Sorry, I, again, normally I do this beforehand. But I wasn't expecting this. Zero. Alright. Save that there. Close, close, close. Okay. Close. Okay. Uh -huh. Save image. Uh, yeah, but if you haven't been keeping up with it on my YouTube, Bowichu Gaming, um, we've been playing every day. We've been uh, releasing new episodes of uh, Aliens: Dark Descent. 
that I think that game has turned out to be like amongst my top like three favorite games that has that have released this year. Uh, it is so good, and I had such a good time playing it. So if you're looking to see what that's all about, because I don't think a lot of people play that game. I didn't see a lot of people talking about it or nothing. And it's a shame, because more people should play that game. It's fantastic. Um, but you should check it out. It's very cool. It's very fun. I had a really good time playing it. And I think that shows. I think that the, the, the series is really good. Like, among some of my favorite... Uh, like recording that I've done. Definitely very good. Browse. Uh -huh. right, you know what? There we go. Let's do. There we go. Oh, this is all. <laughs> Damn it. I'll have to do that later. But, anyways. Uh -huh, files. But yeah, that, that's been what's been happening over on that side. Um, very, very cool. Okay. Hold up. Let's do this this sorry again wasn't expecting to do all this but we're gonna do it right now plus let's do where is it there it is okay now oh, that's doing what i wanted to do Oh, I see. Because it's relative. I need to turn that off. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What happened? Uh, delete that. Yes. Okay. Share this again. Crop. Yes. I don't want it relative. Oh my goodness. Oh shit. How did I do this before? How did I get this to work before? I don't remember it being this difficult. What is going on? Alright. Okay, that worked the way I wanted it to. Why did the other way not work? Huh. Oh, weird. Okay, it's doing what I want it to do now. Oh, I'm an idiot. You know what I was doing? I was adding, not subtracting. I'm sorry. What a dumbass. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Let's do 200. Nope. 250. Okay. 249. 245. 242. 240. 235. Oh, okay. So 238. 39. It's 240. That's the cutoff right there. So then that means this should also be 240 if we do 245 yeah it starts cutting off all right there we go that should maintain the aspect ratio while letting us do what we need to do there we go okay so now this we can move something like there something like that 
Yeah, okay, okay, there we go, there we go. Then we're going to take my fat ass. Let's see, let's move that right there. We're going to take me. We're going to move me over. Over her. And then we're going to, let's see if I remember it. Is it... I did remember it. Hell yeah, I'm a king. Some people call me a king. I don't blame them. Ooh, why is my um capture cards all weird? My uh this shit. Why is this happening now all of a sudden? Uh Okay. There we go. I'll fix that. Oh. There we go. Put that there. Actually, with that there, I can make myself a little bigger. Yeah, bigger. There we go. Because everybody wants to see my face. I know that's what you're here for. And then finally. Uh, oh. Let me type something in really quick. Yeah, I want to move you. To be right here. There we go. So now if we do... Okay, that's better. Let's do something like that. Okay. Alright. I think we're good. I think everything looks good. Looks set up. Everything looks great. Hell yeah. Let's go. Okay. Sorry. Normally I do all that beforehand, but... Mm. Hope everyone's got their coffee. Oh, look at her. She got an eye animation. Hmm. Okay. Everything good? Music. Or not music, but sound. Audio. Mic. Video. We're good to go. Okay. Anyways, let's get right to it. Um, that's the restaurant car. Let's see what else we can see around here. And we can't go back, right? We haven't finished searching the train yet. Okay. Looks like soon she's uh, stained with blood. Same thing for the whole room, eh? Ecliptic Express. Oh, that's my. I was, what is that? Officer Chambers from Stars Bravo team. Or actually, no, Please I don't need to. Identify <laughs> yourself. Is someone there? The government Rebecca. Oh shit. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. This is how we start it? Fuck this. We're out. <laughs> I ain't got time for all that. We'll check that room later. Alright. Rain outside is quickly turning into a downpour. Would you call it a silent hill downpour? Is it hilly out there? It actually is. We saw the video. I, I don't know why, like, this, like, pre-rendered background shit just looks so good. It's so sad that we, like, moved away from that. What a bummer. There doesn't seem to be anything of use. Like, this looks so good. This is an old-ass game. It's a 2002 game. Hilly in the mountains, you don't say? Yes. Hello, junkyard dog. Welcome. Uh, passenger's Diary, July 14th. Orders came from the boss today. Looks like we're in charge of investigating the remains of the Arkley Mountain Laboratory. We're moving in two groups. The initial group is signed to start checking what's left in the abandoned exper of the aban abandoned experiments. July 16th. Unfortunately, the test production of BOW type Yankee 139 
had to be suspended because of this investigation. It's the same that type Yankee 139. It's the same with type Yankee 139. There's still too much we don't know about the response to the crustacean crust crust T virus. There's a lot of interesting research left. Depending on the species and nurturing co conditions, uh, only minute doses of tea bring about remarkable changes in sol sol uh, solidity, size, multiplication of eternal toxins, and brain development. If these effects can be controlled, a powerful weapon can be produced. But the sudden development of the shell results in a corresponding uh, fragility. Certain areas become exceedingly weak. Problematically, one of these areas is, is the head carapace. This lab we are going to... Were they pursuing the same research? It would certainly help to find data and samples that would help us in our research. July 19th. The day is finally approaching. I am growing more anxious. The Raccoon City newspapers and TV stations are full of reports about the bizarre murders in the suburbs. It can't be the virus, can it? If it is... No, I can't think of that now. I have to concentrate on, the, on this investigation and make sure it goes smoothly. Okay, so I thought this was kind of like further back, but I guess not. This is like right before the mansion incident. Please don't wake up. Yes, we'll take the handgun ammo. This poor guy must have been attacked in his sleep. His body is covered in slime. Ugh. One day, oh, this is the day prior? Oh, okay. The rain is beating fiercely against the window. You wonder how long it'll last. The way the like initial the like the setup video. Oh, oh shit! Hell yeah! The way the setup video was like I thought this was like before before like a little ways back. It's a finely tailored suit, but then we we see Alpha Team crash, so that's it's got to be right before uh, their first game. There's nothing in the pockets. Okay. All right, let's go. I'm excited. Okay, what's next? 201. Yeah, I, I'm a huge fan of like these like small confined like... Oh, save room. All right. It's probably too early to save. I feel like we've done nothing. So we probably don't need to save quite yet, but I'm probably going to regret that. Let's see. There's a typewriter record uh, record record data. No, thank you. We'll take the ink ribbon. There doesn't seem to be anything of use. Investigation order stained with blood. Some sections are illegible. Eight miles north of Raccoon City in the Arkley Mountains lies the company's management training facility. It was shut down years ago. Now, we are conducting a preliminary study into the reopening of the facilities. First investigation unit is already on site and opening the investigation. I want your team to provide support. The following orders... Uh, the following orders are... William Berkeley and... Uh, investigation of units. First something investigation of units. The rest is torn unreadable. Okay. Great. We learned a lot. All right. How are we doing? Let's already go into our inventory. So we're already... Damn. So this game's weird. You're sp There's no box as far as I know. You're just supposed to drop things on the floor. And then you're supposed to come pick them up when you want to use them. Very strange. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I really like games that take place in a small, like single area like this place at least the beginning of this game takes place just on a train which is such a cool setting it's locked and can't be opened the door reads conductor's office okay there's a card reader here it looks like the door will open if you have the right card it's locked oh uh. well, okay This train employee's corpse has been brutally torn apart. He's holding something. The train key. Yes. Don't wake up. Don't you do it. Oh, no. Oh, that's not a zombie. I like that she's got a... She's got a choker on. <laughs> Billy. 
Must be standard issue. Lieutenant Cohen. So, you seem to know me. Been fantasizing about me, have you? You're the prisoner that was being transferred for execution. You were with those soldiers outside. Oh, I see. I wouldn't say I was with Stars. them. Stars. Well, no offense, honey, but your kind doesn't seem to want me around. So, I'm afraid our little chat time is over. Wait! You're under arrest! <laughs> no thanks, Dollface. I've already worn handcuffs. I could shoot, you know. <laughs> she looks like a 14-year-old. Like, I can shoot you. Oh. Uh-oh. Edward! Are you alright? Oh, Eddie. What happened? It's worse than... We can't. You must be careful, Rebecca. The, the forest is full of z zombies and oh. monsters. Is that the first time they use the word zombies in one of these games? Uh, uh. Oh shit, is that a dog? Uh oh. Yep. Uh, these suck. What? What? Come on, I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. Get fucked. <laughs> Come on. Gotcha. Oh, that's too far. Woo. Oh, look at that. That's nasty. That's a nasty looking dog. You can see things coming out of it. Uh, you must love Portal. Yeah, Portal's great. Um, yeah, Portal's great. Uh, but yeah, any any game that takes place in just like a facility or a, a small area, you know, like is so great. That's why I love the original Resident Evil. Just mostly takes place in a mount in a, a mansion and the surrounding area. Love that shit. Um, meanwhile, Edward crashes through the elevator. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Like how he he because <laughs> trains are pretty high up. Like I'm, if you've ever seen a train or been on a train, like they, those wheels are huge, so they're high up. So he had to like pull vault in the forest over and smash through a window and be like, oh, monsters, the zombies. Rebecca's just like, monsters, zombies, not like, how the fuck did you get in here? Also, he like crashed through a window, which would not be easy anyways. That's really good. Edward, you were, you were so happy just a few hours ago. He's holding something. Handgun ammo, we'll take it. Marvin Bernard said in the original... Oh, did he? Okay. I never... I, well, I'm, I'm not going to... Oh, those body marks all over it. Uh, I played a little bit of the original Resident Evil 2. I don't think I ever finished it. I want to play that eventually. But I did play, like, the... The, the remake or whatever. So that's fun. Conductors... All right, we got a key. Oh, nope. Let's uh, examine this thing. Dining car. Okay. Okay. I know where that is. Oh, shit. We got to go. That means. We're, oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's be smart about this. Good. This is one. Of the, sometimes you can't do that. I think like the newer ones, they don't let you do that. Okay. Get your gun. Get your gun arm ready. Your trigger finger. It's always weird when, like, it's, like, zombie media and they just, like, refuse to say the word. Maybe if I'm very, very sneaky. Uh. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck this. Is he dead dead? He's twitching. That's not good. God. Fuck this. We're out. Oh, shit. Oh, I think I did it. Oh. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Mm, okay, so there's a way up from here. Through the window, you can see a broken ladder. It's of no use right now. Oh. Ooh, what's... Is there anything in here? 
No. Okay. Uh, let's reload. What's what's the reload? Okay, that's what the reload here. Okay. Go upstairs first. Oh. That's just gross. Does she have anything to say about that? They look like some kind of eggs. A puddle of slime was formed around them. We'll take the herb. There's an antique style phone. The line has been cut, rendering it useless. I never understood how old timey phones worked on trains. That never made sense to me. I'm sure I could look it up, but sometimes. Oh, she's just got a really like daydreamy look on her face. This is really not the time, Rebecca. Okay. Boop. Boop. These load times, though. Alright. Let's go. Oh, we should probably save. Eh, whatever. But actually, we're doing pretty good. We haven't been hit. This is Rebecca. Over. Enrico! Hello! Can you read me? Please respond. Rebecca, I can hear you. Now listen up. We've obtained detailed information on the fugitive from a document found in the wrecked wagon. Billy Cullen killed as many as 23 people. <gasps> Over. 23 people. We have also confirmed that he was institutionalized, so keep your guard up. Can you hear me, Rebecca? Over. But he did. Enrico, Captain, hello, hello. It was like some smear campaign. He could have killed us. He chose not to. All right, can we go out now? No. All oh, right, we gotta go. Shit. We gotta go over here. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, it's bleeding. Now, I think this came out after the Resident Evil 1 remake. So I wonder if there's crimson heads in this one. I remember that was something that they added for that game. Use the dining car key. You don't need, a, need it anymore. Throw it away? Sure. Uh, you know what? Let's go save. Hopefully none of these zombies respawn. Bodies are gone. Why does this guy look like uh, Conan O'Brien? <laughs> this guy right here. He looks like a zombified Conan. Alright. This one. Man, I'm in dire need of a haircut. I tried calling my, uh, I tried setting up an appointment with my, my, uh, the peop the hi the hair person that I go to, the barber, but they didn't pick up the damn phone. They're probably busy. So, I'm, so now I'm just like, and I keep trying to call, but I keep forgetting. All right, we did it. No typewriter sound. Oh, okay. Rebecca, O one cabin. Okay. Let's look at our inventory. Um, let's leave this here. We don't need two of. Oh, I can't leave it here. Really? Do I need a? Oh, that is a bad spot for that. Okay. So you can't just like 
you can't stack things. Okay. Which is weird, because the game places it wherever the hell it wants to anyways. This is strange. <laughs> All right, let's go. It always, there's always like this like feeling of invincibility after saving in these games. Like, oh, I don't care if I die now. I just saved. It doesn't matter. I'm surprised the bodies disappear. <laughs> Is this game? Yeah, this game should be loud enough. Alright, let's see what's in this restaurant car. Mmm, restaurant. I made spaghetti yesterday. Like straight, like meat spaghetti. Meat sauce spaghetti. Mmm, it's been so long. Oh, there he, Wait, how do we it's get in front of you? dangerous from here on in. Why don't we cooperate? Cooperate with you? Listen, little girl, if you haven't noticed, there's some pretty freaked out things on this train. And I, for one, want to get out of here. I don't think we stand a chance doing it alone. You expect me to trust you, a wanted felon? I don't need your help. I can handle this on my own. He looks like David don't Duchovny. don't call me little girl. All right, Miss Do-It-Yourself. What should I call you? The name is Rebecca Chambers, but that's Officer Chambers to you. Well then, Rebecca... Why don't you go and try while I wait here? Oh, okay. Well then, Rebecca, why don't you go and try while I wait here? <laughs> okay. This guy never comes back, I don't think, right? Notice the supervisors. When closing the dining car, supervisors are asked to switch off the automatic doors after ensuring all staff have vacated the car. The main automatic door power switch is located on the roof of the fifth car. Inspections will take place when the car is garage. After inspections are complete, use the ladder at the rear of the, rear of the second floor of the dining car. Umbrella Corporation Maintenance Department. Okay. It looks like an automatic door. There's no power, so it won't open, right? All right. So, we must be in the third car, I'm assuming. Oh, there's just a straight-up fire. That's not good. Counters littered with slips of paper listing customers' orders. It's locked from the other side. Half-eaten meal sits on the table. What a waste. Uh-oh. Um, excuse me, sir. There's a fire. Sir. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. It's like the goo monsters from Seven. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. You're right. <laughs> oh, shit. Some good shooting. <laughs> I see that the animification okay. of Resident Evil from Code Veronica has transferred over. Game. Who is that guy? 
Is the train moving? Go and check out the first engine car. Listen, we gotta cooperate with each other from now on. You got that? Well, I don't. Clue in, girl. Or maybe you like being worm bait. All right, but you just remember, I will shoot you if you try anything funny. Like a finger Fine. in the butt. Now take these with you. Oh, that's nice of you. If you find anything, give me a call. All right. Where do you get a radio from? Rebecca's like, all right, whatever. <laughs> sure. Uh, player's manual two character switching. You can switch control between the two lead characters, Rebecca and Billy, and use their different abilities to progress through the game. The character you currently control is called the main character. The character you do not control is called the partner character. Uh, the partner character generally moves independently, but can you? But you can use right stick to control them yourself. Selecting partner in the status screen allows you to assign instructions to the character. Solo, both characters move independently. Team partner follows the main character. Attack pattern, uh, partner attacks automatically. An idle partner does not attack. You can also press back button to switch between solo and team behavior. Switching characters, press Y at the status screen to switch characters. You'll need to switch characters in order to progress in certain situations. Uh, when, your partner, when, when your partner character is nearby, you can exchange items in the status screen. Choose the item from the main character's item box and select exchange. Character attributes. Rebecca. Rebecca has the following character or following attributes. Can combine herb related items. Weak defense can use a mixing set to combine chemicals. Okay, so she is the chemical herb lady, but she's got weak defense. Uh, Billy has the following attributes. Cannot combine herb related items. He just can't do it. He's got a strong offense and he can push many large objects. If the partner character is attacked, both the main character and partner characters will die if they take too much damage. You should always keep an eye on their condition. A partner being attacked in a different room will call for help over the radio. If your partner does call, go to help as quickly as possible. Cooperating with your partner. Some puzzles cannot be solved by only one character. When you are stuck, try to see if using your partner will help. Okay. Interesting. I'll go alone. Roger. Roger. Okay. So we probably want to use him, right? For like combat. I can't believe the train's moving. That's cool. What's this? There's a ladder here. It seems to lead up to the roof. No. Hold on. Not yet. The chair where the monster was sitting, it's covered in slime. Half eaten meal. Nothing else? Okay. This is interesting. Okay. So, I guess my question is, your partner probably uses up... Yeah, they probably use up, like, ammo and stuff when they're running around. The lighter appears to be out of fuel. It's useless right now. Alright. Prisoner from Resident Evil Zero. Jacket from Resident Evil Zero. Wolf Force from Mercs? What the fuck is Mercs? <laughs> Cody from Alpha 3. Oh, so these are just like other games. Other Capcom games. Street Fighter Alpha 3, Cody. That's it? That's all he's got? Okay. Huh. We'll just stick with. Well, he has the worst outfits. Yes, he does. That's awful. Um. Okay, so I guess, hmm. So what we probably want to do is not actually have them do anything. Because I don't want them wasting the ammo, right? Uh, okay. Come on. Roger. Let's go, Rebecca. Ladder here seems to lead up to the tree. Yes. So it's like if... Yeah. It's kind of like the Resident Evil 5 
uh, experience, right? You you don't want your you don't want to give your partner shit because I'll just see. Oh my god, that is cool. What does this remind me of? Oh, uh, Siphon Filter Two and uh, Uncharted Three. Was it Uncharted Three that did this? Oh. This would be extremely dangerous. Power cable has been disconnected. Reconnect the cable. That seems safe. So what happens if I switch to Rebecca? Can she not? You can't reach it from up here. I can't reach what? All right. The roof has caved in and now lies in pieces on the floor. It looks like it was destroyed by a powerful force from the outside. And you got an ammo. So I wonder if whoever I was using is probably the one that falls in, right? Let's grab the herb. Service lift is stopped at the first floor. Call the service lift? Yeah. It's empty. Place an item here. What would we want to put here? Nothing, I guess, right? Nothing yet, anyway. We're gonna have to move something down. No. Alright. What's this? Oh, okay. Well, good thing I looked there. Holy shit. <laughs> uh... I know there's a door back this way that I think we unlocked. So let's get Rebecca out of here. This looks great though. Like I love the way this looks. So well done. Hopefully there's no fucked up shit over here. All right. Lock from the other side. All right, let's go to the other side. Uh, let's see what else. Let's uh, examine. Conductor room. Something's written on the tag. Yeah, conductor room. Okay, cool. I know where that is. Anything else? I think that's it. There's something stuck in the keyhole. Spend the door doorknob from turning? You could probably get it out if you had something sharp. Oh. I do. Equipped. Oh. Oh. I just completely did the exact opposite of what I wanted to do there. There we go. Get it. Get it. Get it. Something stuck, it's put in the doorknob. You could probably get it something if you had something sharp. I do. Combine with Huh. Oh, I get it. <laughs> That's so stupid. Let's equip this. Let's switch back over. You need to find something sharp, and then we gotta put it into the little I mean, you'd think that any one, like that fork right there. Do we see anything sharp? I don't remember. Hmm. Okay. 
That's just a big pawn piece for a chessboard right here. Counter is laden with various types of food. There doesn't seem to be anything of use. What's going on over here? Counter is laden with various types of food. There's an access panel here. You need some kind of tool to open it. Oh, there's like blood coming out of this. It's an industrial sized refrigerator. Okay. Something's going to pop out of that. Shelf is, uh, shelf is full of cooking utensils. There doesn't seem to be anything of use. Okay. Oh, is this a map? What's this? No. Hmm. It's locked from the other side. Golly. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, okay. Here we go. Yes. So we're going to need something sharp. What can we give them? Sure. What do we have? Nothing sharp. Okay. <laughs> Nothing there. Can't open this. Hmm. All right, let's go back. Something sharp. I we didn't see anything sharp like that, did we? <gasps> oh. Oh, 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 oh! No. Go back. Go back. Go back. I know. I know. I know. We got the conductor key, so we got to get Billy to put it into the thing. Then we got to get Rebecca back over there. Damn it! Of course, the answer is so simple. I forgot how, like, crazy the load times in these older games are. For some reason, it feels, like, slower than the Resident Evil remake uh, load times. Alright. Alright, Billy. Damn, Billy's jacked. I gotta get jacked like that. Yes. Alright, let's give her the conductor's key. And yep, send it down. All right. Beautiful. Yep. Take the conductor's key. It's cool, like this game, like the, the partner thing is kind of cool. I don't know how well it's like actually implemented in this game. We, we, We'll see, but it is a cool idea. But yeah, it ultimately lays down to like how the AI is. Is the AI smart enough to like avoid zombies and to like properly shoot at them to not waste stuff? Probably not, right? Like I imagine that the AI probably isn't. I wanted to get a little closer so I can see where it is. Look at this guy. Mm. 
All right, so it's it actually doesn't take that many shots to put them down, which is refreshing. So I feel like, and like especially the remakes, it takes sometimes like a lot of bullets to kill these things, even with headshots. All right, uh, so this is a conductor room, right? No, 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 no. What was the conductor room? That guy at some point is going to wake up. Alright, luckily there's, no, there's not going to be any dogs jumping through windows anymore. <laughs> All right, conductor's key, don't need it anymore? Sure, let's throw it away. Okay. One, two. One, two, three, four. I only see four carts here. Thought this was a five cart kind of thing. Maybe not. All right, let's take the map. Oh, interesting. Okay, weird, huh? Huh. All right. Take the train map. Some red herb. Yeah, we'll take the red herb. Let's take some green herb while we're at it, too. And then we should probably combine it. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. We never examined those. Uh, herb native to this area can be used to recover health. A herb uh, native to this area, it can be combined with other herbs to increase their potency. Nope. Oh. There we go. Go to travel the, on the next world. Take the briefcase? Yeah. Nothing else here. Nope, nope. Shit, I was trying to see what was on that table. Alright, so far not bad. I do like that now we're moving, everything's like flapping the wind and you see the rain like pouring in and stuff. Very good details. I, I love like these like pre-rendered backgrounds and stuff. They look so good. Here's to be documents pertaining to the train operations. They are scattered all over the desk and floor. What's this? They ever explain where exactly Raccoon City is? Like what state? It's Midwestern, right? Like, but I wonder if they ever actually... There's a switch here. Yeah, let's flip it. So it's a cart we haven't been to yet. That's the goo room. Or up there is where a bunch of goo is. Okay, hold on. Let's save. We've made a lot of really good progress. Actually, not really, but we made enough. When when is Eddie gonna uh, Edward gonna wake up? Okay. We could probably leave the green herb behind. Where do you have one in here anyway, right? Yeah. So let's leave. And then examine. It appears to be locked. There are two holes that look as if they fit some kind of round object. Okay. We don't have anything for that yet. Typewriter. All oh, right. Shit. Nope, oh, wrong one. Yes. Uh, you know what? Let's let's do this. We need two round objects, so we're gonna have to find like two things to put into this briefcase. Which oh shit, 
That's cool that like that load time between that's not very long. It's kind of impressive for the time. Uh, leave. We probably don't need this yet. If we got to find two different things for it, they'll probably be scattered around. I'm out of coffee already. Switch over to water. Okay. That good, um, safe room music. That'll love it. Okay. All right. Let's go see what's up that ladder. What kind of gooeyness is up there? What kind of nastiness? Still just looking for something sharp. Which you think, you, like, you should be able to find that pretty easily on a pleasure trip. Oh. Pleasure, pleasure train. Yeah. I've been on one of these types of trains before. I know you can find a lot of sharp things everywhere. All right. Glasses and bottles scattered all over the counter. Let's see if there's any money in the... Um... Nope. She doesn't even mention it. Also fallen over when the emergency brake was activated. Okay. Today's specials: Mediterranean-style shrimp, carpaccio, ch roasted chicken. Party's over. This picture looks like it was a continuation of the first. The party goers are saying goodbye. Join the party. The picture shows a group of people having a wild party. It's just like three women sitting down at a table talking. <laughs> what a wild party. Rebecca. Oh, Rebecca. Oh, God. The fuck was that? Oh, this camera angle is making me nervous. Oh, no. Was this pepper? Oh, ice pick. There we go. That's not something sharp. It's a room service trolley. The trolley is still loaded with plates and bottles. It must have been in use recently. Welcome to Electric Salon. Uh, please join us for a moment of relaxation. On your very stressful train journey. All right, let's see. 101. There's just a lot of stuff in here. And we got room for two of them. Alright. Uh, oh boy. Just a bunch of different amp. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Oh no. The hunting gun? Yes. Hunting gun? What the hell's a hunting gun? A shotgun used for hunting. There's a car design carved on the force, force, force stock, for skin, for stock. This model can only be loaded with two shells at a time. It's a double barrel. Cool. That took up all my space. There's a lot of stuff in here. So question, I've seen, oh shit. I've seen this now, so does this unlock it in my map? No. Oh, that's kind of shitty. Like, if I've seen it, it should at least, like, and it's on the floor already, it should just, like, mark it as such. Take the handgun ammo. Uh, and we can't fit anything else, so... Maybe if I, like, look at it and put it back down? A 
shotgun shells. And that should be a first aid spray. Yep. Now does it at least mark it on my map? Okay. Alright, that's fair. Okay. Good to know. Is that not a door or something that opens? Okay. Oh boy. Whatever is going to be in this room is going to suck. We don't have enough shotgun shells for me to like use the shotgun, I think. It's a crustacean. What is that thing doing on top of a train? Oh my god. Ooh. Wait. <laughs> like that. We're out. Shit. Is there any chance that I can get around this thing? Better not be. Oh, it is like right here. Ooh. No, you cannot. Oh, wait, hold on. It backs up though. Maybe I can get it to back up enough. Oh. I don't want to waste the ammo if I don't have to. Nope, I have to. Oh, wait, hold on. Get Fox. Get Fox. Oh. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Uh-oh. Wrong button. I'm assuming that this is going to eventually work. I'm shooting its head. Maybe I need to push it back. There we go. God damn it. Get up. Oh, she's hurt. Oh, damn it. Uh oh. Achievement unlocked. Taking the stinger out. Defeat stinger. I'm so used to playing like souls like so I'm just waiting for all my souls to come in. Okay, that wasn't that bad actually. I probably took way more hits than I needed to. Yeah, she's in danger. Danger, danger. Uh, we'll hold off. Oh, wait, hold on. No, we're good. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. What is this? Oh, it's a hook. Can't carry this item. That's to, like, bring a ladder down. Or maybe to uh, open up one of these, like, hatches or whatever. Yes. Cool. That wasn't too bad. I definitely took more hits than I needed to, but... I feel like I kind of figured it out at the end there. Okay. Uh, let's go. We gotta go give Billy the ice pick. 
Billy. All right. Uh, let's see here. What are we looking at? Go to her right. Okay. Do, 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 do. Surprised he hasn't woken up yet. Okay. Uh, let's see. We could probably leave this for oh no, I can't I can't fit anything in here. Maybe I gotta go to like outside the save room, like a bigger room. To start putting all this stuff down into. Uh let's see. Combine that with that. Okay. Quack quack. Yeah, let's start putting things outside the save room, I guess. leave and let's leave no hold on to all that okay well no we're going so here's what we're gonna do oops oh <gasps> fuck i didn't mean to use it i meant to leave it but i guess it's fine we were dangerous so it's okay what i want to do is i want to go back and pick up all that stuff so i'm actually going to theoretically it should be very safe at this point so we shouldn't need much so let's go, let's go back and pick up all that stuff that we left behind. Bring it down here so we have it in an area. I hope this game makes it very obvious when, like, because we're definitely not going to be in this train the whole game, right? There's no fucking way. So whenever we leave the train, I hope it makes it very obvious so I know when I need to go pick up all my stuff. Because it'd be a huge bummer if I like saved up a whole bunch of ink ribbon and health and ammo or whatever or weapons like weapons and like so, like a cussing happens and all of a sudden I don't have access to that stuff anymore so either that or like whatever happens all the stuff just comes with you hopefully we'll see we'll see how nice this game wants to be alright let's go pick up that crap yeah, this is good so far. I'm having a good time. It's very claustrophobic, which I can appreciate. Let's pick this up. Yep. Uh, this. I think that's it. Yes. Anything else? No, I think that's it. Let's just check the map really quick. Nope. Yep. Okay, cool. Awesome. I wonder... Looks like there's a door on the other... Like, a room on the other side of this. Maybe I gotta, like, somehow clear the goo out. The goop. Maybe when I get, like, a flamethrower or something. Okay. Alright. So here we have... Q three eight D target short total 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 coral uh twelve gauge shotgun shells. Okay. First aid spray. Used to fully restore health. Uh ink ribbon and then panel opener. Used to uh used to open the access panels on in the floor. Yep, okay, cool. Where was that? Now I gotta remember where that was. There's a gaping hole in the ceiling, yeah. Okay. So... Let's go... There's nothing in here anymore, right? Yep, okay. And there's nothing of interest... Oh! I thought I checked this already. Note from Conductor. The key card for the driver's compartment is in my bag as always, but I need the other guy's key to open the damn thing. But it looks like I lost it somewhere. If it was a normal key, someone would sure... If it was a normal key, someone would be sure to turn it in. But this key is different. I'll look for it too, but if I happen to find it, please hand it in. 
Thanks in advance. In his bag. Huh. Interesting. Where would his bag be? Look at that key outline. That's such a weird... Still not up yet, eh? Okay, cool. So what can we drop here? We don't need this. Uh, we don't need that. This we'll just bring inside. And then we gotta get the ice pack right here. Yes. Thank you. Let's save. Should we save? I feel like I'm saving too much. I'm generally pretty... Pretty good about not saving too often. Let's go. I also feel I have so many, like, ink ribbons right now. I got, like, six, so it's kind of... What was it? It was, um... Code Veronica that, like gives you a lot of shit at the beginning and then like it, it felt like at the in like the second half of the game they give you oh no, I only have four oh damn uh they only like they get why can't i just drop this here okay that's weird i guess we'll leave it out here more like Chode Veronica. Yeah, Code Veronica, they give you like a crap load of stuff in the beginning, but it feels like in the second half of the game, they gave you very little. So I was like, okay, whatever. Um, so it definitely felt like I was uh, scrounging near the end there, especially after that boss fight uh, in the plane where I had to use almost everything I had, virtually everything I had to get through it. Maybe this thing has something in his hand? Nope. Okay. So, to get to Billy... We gotta go forward. If this is only a five-car train, we've seen, like, almost all of it already. Maybe this begin maybe this train portion isn't as big as I remember it being. Cause this is the only part of the game that I remember and I don't even really remember much. I just remember being on a train mostly. Okay, let's go give him the ice pick. Oh, and we can open that too. Alright. Yes. Ice pick. All right. Let's see what's down here. Enter the crawl space. Sure. Fuck this. Uh, I don't like this. I'm uh, very claustrophobic. I do not like. You got him. Sh oh, you fucker. Oh, come on. Well, there you have it. That should the door is now unlocked. Okay. Oh, look at all this. Yeah, we'll take a gas tank. Sure, we'll take some first aid and some shotgun ammo. Okay. What else you got for me? Strange odor lingers around the cage. <clears throat> 
take a gold ring? Sure. Maybe that's what we gotta put in the, um... <clears throat> the, what's it called? Excuse me. Boxes are filled with food and other supplies. There doesn't seem to be anything of use. <clears throat> Excuse me. Probably have to put that into the, uh, the, 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 the briefcase. Anything over here? Looks like there'd be keys here. Nope. I should probably not move forward without Billy. Oh. It's a release. No? What are we releasing? We're at the end of the train. Oh shit, look at this. Look at this. A hook shot is attached to the wall. You use pull the lever and release the lock. Oh, okay. I thought it was gonna release like the train car. There's a hand operated brake here. You'll need a magnetic card to operate it. What, what the hell are we gonna do with a hook shot? Oh, okay. We need Billy. Okay. Um, let's just examine this really quick. A finely crafted gold ring. Okay. It's filled with gasoline. Oh, is this what you use for the lighter? Do you literally use like a, like a huge, like eight gallon jug? To fill up a tiny little, like, uh, lighter. That'd be really funny. Alright. Let's get out of here. It's very loud in there. Alright, Billy. It's showtime. Yes, let's take that. Take that ice pick. She should be safe out there. I don't think anything's gonna get her while she's out there. Alright, um, let's examine this really quick. We never did. A... Ice pick with a finely tapered point. Looks pretty sharp. Perfect. Exactly what we're looking for. Something stuck in the heel. You could probably get it if you had something sharp. Oh. Use. I actually really like Code Veronica. The doorknob is unstuck now. Um, one of the things as I've been playing through all these Resident Evil games... I've been saying is how much I... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Actually, hold on. I don't give a fuck. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, what if there's something there, though? No, there's nothing there. Um, One of the things I've been saying about these Resident Evil games is, like, a lot of people don't like usually, like, the end of these games when you end up in, like, some umbrella facility or whatever. <laughs> Seriously? Forgot about that fucking refrigerator. <laughs> um, I actually really like the facility uh, portions of the Resident Evil games. And I was like, man, I wish they'd just like, make a whole game based on the facility. And that's pretty much what Code Veronica is. So I really like Code Veronica. Take the empty bottle. Sure. Indulge wine. Is that what it's called? Empty bottle. Salmon. You might be able to use this as a weapon if you fill it with something. Oh, a molly. Cool, we're gonna make a molotov. Rose. Rose wine. Okay. That was fucked up. Alright, let's go meet up with Rebecca. Q Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mr. Freeze puns. <laughs> All right, uh, we're gonna give the hook shot to, I guess, him.
You need two blocks to carry this item. Oh my gosh. Uh, alright. How do you give things over? What was it? It was... Hmm. Alright, well, let's just leave this. And then Rebecca can pick up the... Uh... Hookshot Operator's Manual. Warning, this device should only be used when inspecting difficult to access car roofs or when connecting special trains. Return to its proper location after use. Uh, instructions. 1. Where to use. There is a ladder outside of the small window by the first floor section door of the third carriage. Fire the device so that it hooks high onto the ladder. 2. Using the winch to climb. After securing the hook, you can use the winch to lift yourself up. This grappling hook can only lift one person at a time. Be aware that the unit may be damaged if lifting more than 80 kilograms. Okay, so... Damn. This place is so loud. Uh, investigation orders. Court order. 163 pounds. How much is that in... I'm trying to remember what the math on that is, but I do not remember. Like, wait, 80 k I'm trying to think of like the, the miles to kilometers, which is like 50 miles is 80 kilometers, but there's no way that that's 80 kilograms is 50 pounds. There's no way. Let's do a little googling. 80 kg to LBS. 176 pounds. Okay. So 176 pounds. So should be able to carry him. Alright, pick this up and let's uh This way. Okay. Let's get out of here. It's very loud right here. <laughs> Q Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mr. Freeze Buns. Have an ice day. I wish I could do his accent, but I cannot. And I will refuse. I'm trying to think what 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 did he say? He's like, have an ice day. You need a chill, like all those like super awful, basic, fucking. All right, let's go this way. Okay. So we have the hook shot. We got to go to train three, or car three. So that's the one right next door. And there should be a window there that we can use to hook shot up. Everywhere else we've been except for that one room right there, but it looks like we can't get there. Um, and then the, that door way at the end up there. I forgot what key we needed for that one. But I think that's where the engine room and stuff is, so we probably don't have access to it yet. There's also a roof. 
Oh, we're probably going to get on the roof to go over here. Okay. All right, let's go. Come on, Rebecca. I wonder... Hmm. So here's the thing. You got to, like... This game. It's saying that that hook shot it might be damaged if it uses... Or if it carries more than 176 pounds. Uh-oh. No, let go over. Uh-oh. Here I come to save your day. Attack an enemy to save your partner who is grappling with that enemy. Right. Oops. Nope. Oh shit, they're right. She doesn't have her ammo. Alright. Let's go get that really quick. She has no ammo. Um. What was I saying? I forgot now. Fuck. Just keep going. Just keep going. <laughs> we don't need to deal with it. Would this be a good time to save, or is it too soon? All right. Mm. Empty bottles. Let's uh, leave these. Oh, so we can exchange here. Weird. We couldn't exchange outside, maybe? That was strange. Huh. Alright. Um. Alright. Let's go. Where's the where's the ammo? Where's the handgun ammo? Is this guy still down? Yep. Excuse me. Oh, there's the ammo. Let's pick this up. See, I don't want to give that to her. She has, like, no ammo. The problem is what happens when, like... What happens when, like, something happens and they get split up? Oh, okay. I see, I see, okay. Uh, gold ring. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Let's, uh, tidy up a little bit here. Excuse me. that back over wait what oh okay that's cool so okay cool so you can split it that's awesome that's actually really good i thought i was i thought you wouldn't be able to do that take the briefcase let's combine that with that and then examine the gold ring fits perfectly in the hole okay we need one more now we can take this and we can leave that uh leave this and fuck he's full uh exchange okay let's pick up the shotgun shells yes And we got two herbs in here. Okay. I want to combine the shotgun shells that are on the floor. Should we save? I feel like I'm saving too often. I probably shouldn't save. Although it does feel like maybe we're... Leading up to a point where I might want to have had saved. Um, okay. Exchange with this... And exchange, oop, nope. Exchange with that. Saved out, classic Resident Evil phobia, yep. 
because you never know. Like right now, I have four ink ribbons, so it's like I'm swimming in ink ribbons. But like, I don't know when the next ink ribbon's gonna be here. Where is there? You are. I want this. Yes, and I think I'm making mollies, at, molly tops out of this. So combine that with that. Yes, Molotov cocktail. This is how you recycle, create a Molotov cocktail. Okay, so we have, hmm. Let's look at this really quick. I'm probably gonna want the shotgun. I don't wanna carry too many weapons. A knife designed for self-defense. I feel like I always see people, especially like speedrunners and people that just play these games a whole lot, be like, the knife is the best weapon. You just use that to save all your ammo. But then every time I use it, I just end up getting hit all the time. Like, I'm just so bad at it. Um, let's leave the knife for now. And then... Uh, change. And then... Let's exchange this. Give that to him. And maybe we'll give Rebecca the shotgun. Alright, oh, so I was saying, I wonder if this game... So the game's like... The grappling hooks might break if it's over 176 pounds. Now, we know Billy's like 160-something, right? So he's underneath. But do they like consider like, yeah, this is... You know, in his birthday suit, that's how much he weighs. But with his equipment, he's going to be over that. So do I need to, like... Should I still be worried about that or no? Like, I don't know. There's only two Resident Evil games using a knife. Resident Evil 4 and Code Veronica. Really? Code Veronica? Man, I feel like I tried it in Code Veronica and it did not go well. But maybe I'm just remembering wrong. But I definitely, anytime I try to use them, I just end up not... I remember Resident Evil 4, the original, I used the knife a little bit. If you have not used the knife... If you have not used the knife in Code Veronica, you use it wrong, aim down knife. I try that, because you're supposed to take out their legs, right? You're supposed to swipe out their legs so they fall over. I don't know, maybe... Maybe I just... I don't know. It never worked out like that for me. Or maybe I'm remembering wrong, maybe I did use it, but I doubt it, I don't think so. When it slashes, it hits multiple hitboxes on the zombies and counts as multiple hits, really? Oh, wow. Well, that probably would have made that game a little easier. <laughs> I remember the, 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 the airplane boss I ended up... Because I, I knew that was happening. Like, that's the one thing I knew about Code Veronica was there's a boss on an airplane that was, like, stupid hard. And, like, you needed to save up for it. So that's what I did, is I saved up for it. And when I finally got to that boss, I, I, I think I used up, like, 90... 5% of the ammo of everything that I saved up before I was able to kill it. That, that was scary. I thought I was screwed. Because <laughs> I had to retry that boss several times. And I was always running out of ammo. Um, okay. So what do I want to do? I want a grapple hook because we need that. I think we're going to leave the shotgun behind. Never mind. For now. Leave this. We'll have a first aid spray. Actually, you know, no. Let's leave the first aid spray. Oh, I can't. Okay, shit. I want to save the first aid sprays. Let's pick up the uh, herbs we have. We have herbs, a bunch of herbs inside here. <clears throat> One slash could be three hits or more. Wow. I'm trying to, like, I don't remember using it, so I don't think I did, but I don't know. I just, every time I try in these games, it always works out very poorly for me, so... I just stopped trying. I know Resident Evil 4, you could like, couldn't you like combine it with like some attack or something? Or what was it? If you shoot them in the kneecaps, then you can do like a roundhouse kick on them or some, something silly like that. I remember that. I need to play that remake. I heard, I heard good things about the remake. Surprisingly, Resident Evil 4 is not one of my favorite Resident Evil games. I think it's a good it's a great game. It is not my favorite Resident Evil game. Um mm, She's in caution, so I probably don't need to, right? What does he have? He doesn't have any healing, but he's fine. We're gonna leave one herb. We're gonna have one herb on us. 
And we have a molly and a hook shot and a pistol. I think that's good for now. Okay. Now, we have a shotgun. We're going to leave that behind. We're not going to save. We're going to save after whatever happens next, if we survive it. Hopefully we do. What's that on the floor? Okay, that's a green herb. And then we have more green herb, another spray. Uh, what the fuck is this? Oh, his knife. Okay. And some shotgun shells, which we're not going to take because we don't need quite yet. All right. So now we got to come back here and I think it's the, it's the window here, right? Like out in this next room or is it, is it this window? I can't, I can't remember. It might be this window. No, there's no window here. So it's not this window. Nothing else here. Okay. And we need a magnetic lock thing. Okay. We're good. <clears throat> Alright, Rebecca. Let's go. I think we... Didn't we leave a... I think we left a zombie in here. So we're going to have to take care of that. Yep. Don't be wasting ammo, Rebecca. Oh, shit. Alright, let's go. It's this window. Through the window you see a broken ladder. It's no use right now. Wait, what? Aren't I supposed to use this? She's in danger? It barely touched her. That's some bullshit. Okay. Well, she'll be alright. All right, I guess this is it. It looks like there's a passenger cabin below the crack. Jump down? Yeah. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Reload! Okay. Hey, Fudge. It's going well. How are you doing? Strong wind is blown in from outside. What you been up to? We are playing Resident Evil Zero. This is my first time. I've played like the beginning of this game a long, long time ago, but this is my first time actually going through the whole thing. So I'm very excited to see what is in this game. Picked up a jewelry box. Uh, examine? Oh, I bet you the other part of the briefcase is going to be in here. Looks like it's holding a case for holding jewelry. Yeah, let's open it. Yep, there it is. It's something inside. A silver ring. Finally crafted silver ring. Okay, cool. Awesome. Uh, let's combine that with that. Alright, anything else in here? Stained with someone's blood. Perhaps one of the passengers. Yeah, good observation. What's this? Oh, another knife? Does this game have, like, knives that break like they've been doing lately, or is it... Box is filled with a passenger's belongings. They all look extremely valuable. So some rich person. The room is furnished with a single bed. It's soaked from the rain. Alright, so there's a knife in here? Picture of a mother holding a baby. Alright, the eggs. Oh no. Uh, maybe it's Molly time. Um, you're doing good. Friend called in some favors to keep you busy the last couple weeks. I'm probably next couple weeks, so I can't stream. Oh, damn. Well, that's nice of you. I hope everything's okay. Oh, no. Oh, they're crawling on me. They're crawling on me. They're crawling on me. 
Is this the remasters? Or, yeah, this is like the, the PC release. I think the original was a GameCube game, right? This is the... Um, the PC version. So yeah, I think it's the remaster. Looks great. I love the way this game looks. I love this, like... the These, like, pre-rendered cutscenes still... Oh, wow, I can just step on these things? Step, 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 step. Uh, do they do they spawn infinitely or am I actually like uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh okay this was a bad idea I think they disappear when you go into a new area uh, this looks much better than oh really okay I think the biggest reason, like, the biggest, um, I was thinking about just playing, like, the, like, Resident Evil 1 remaster and this one, like, on the consoles, just because why not? But then, uh, I read that they are only 30 frames per second, so I was like, fuck that, we're playing this on the PC, where I get way better frame rate. Okay. So now we gotta go back to the save room area. And that's right below us. I think we can get there from here. I think. What's that red? Oh, the knife, right. Oh, wait, no, we can't get there from here, right? This is a... Oh, no, we can. Yep. There we go. Perfect. Yes, let's go down. Do, do, do. Um, never got through this one, but it has some interesting inventory management and... On both characters, yeah. The inventory management it sure is something. I guess fundamentally it's not that much different than just using a box. At least not yet, because we only have one save room anyway, so we'd only have one box. But if there's no item boxes at all in this game, I could see it being an interesting issue in the future. Okay. So now we're back here. Uh, we gotta find that. Where is it? Where, I think I left the briefcase in here, right? Yeah, it's, it's cool though. I like the, the idea of having two characters is interesting. It's like switching back between them. It's very like... Um, reminds me a bit of... Oh, nope. Resident Evil 5. Which means that, like, I'm worried about, like, giving the partner character any ammo or items because I'm afraid that they're going to use it. Yes. Take the briefcase. Let's combine that. Can't use it. Okay, let's examine it. Can I open it? Briefcase has been unlocked. Open, yes. <clears throat> A zombie pops out. Wow. That is... That seems a little wasteful. Just get a little badge holder. Took the blue key card, Elliptic Express. Jimmy Lewis security system, blue card. Okay. Well, there you have it. Now, where did we leave Rebecca? Okay, she's just one room over. Okay, I think now would be a good time to save. So let's bring Rebecca over, just so everyone's in the same room. Damn, we're already going for two hours? Time's flying by. It's already noon. Golly. Alright, um, let's take the ink ribbon. Yes. She needs healing. She's in danger. Maybe if I just leave her in the save room, she'll be alright. Hello. Inventory wise, how are we looking? Actually, looks pretty good. Oh, you know what? I bet you I don't need the hookshot anymore. We could probably leave the hookshot behind. Yeah. Uh huh. Change. Leave. Okay, cool. 
that'll open up space for him. Let's change to her. Let's save. Yes. I feel like I'm saving way too often. Okay. So the question is, do I let her eat the herb? I should probably get her out of danger, right? Like, you know what? Let's pick up the stuff. Let's just have only the ink ribbon in here. That's really all we need in here. Yes. I think that's everything. Let's put everything else back out in the hallway. All out here. Okay. Let's uh, take two green herbs. Combine them. That should get her up to fine, I think. Oops. Nope, oh, just caution. That's fine. Uh, where's Billy? Alright. So sh I think what I might do... Is maybe give her all the handgun ammo and then have him... Take the shotgun. Eh. Nah, fuck it. Alright. Okay. Let's go. We need to go which way? The opposite way. Yeah, let's see what's on the f let's see what's up here. Use door is now unlocked. You won't be needing this card anymore. Sure, let's throw it away. All right, let's go. Oh shit! This is Delta team. This is Delta this team. Is Hulk or Hulk? The train. Over. No, you haven't. Understood. <gasps> this does not make any sense. That's Wesker. How the T virus leaked, and why did it contaminate both the lab and the mansion, as well as a train almost three miles away? That's irrelevant. We must make sure no knowledge of this gets out. Destroy the train. Completely. Fucking How Wesker. far away are you from the nearest branch line? About ten minutes to... Huh? What happened? Let's go out there, I guess. The engine chamber is badly damaged. There's no way to fix that. Cool. They sabotaged it. Look at that computer. Oh, that's amazing. The train will either derail or crash. I gotta stop this thing. Brake operation manual. Using the brake control, the following three steps are necessary to operate the brakes. Step one, activating the controls. Brake controls are located in the following locations. Oh, God. 
First car driver's compartment rear deck of the fifth car. To activate the system, you must insert the magnetic card into the device <clears throat> in the fifth car. This will supply power to both sets of controls. <clears throat> right. Okay, so that... Yeah, I remember looking at that. That's like the outside on the back of the tr train. <clears throat> Enter the rear deck code. Enter the code for the rear deck unit to release the lock. After this, the driver's compartment code can be entered. Step three, enter driver's compartment code. Enter the code for the driver's compartment unit to, to remove the lock. Upon completion of these three steps, the manual brakes can be used. I think we're gonna have to split up. Who will stay behind? Let's keep Rebecca here. I'll go over to the back deck and manipulate the control panel for the brake. Then you apply the brake from here, okay? All right, Billy. Be careful. What? Be careful. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, hold on. Yes. Right? He's the one that wants that. Let's pick up the ammo. Yep. I see something right there. Yeah. Just leave her with nothing. Alright, I gotta go. What, what are the codes, though? We gotta put in, like, some sort of code? Nope. Nope. Rebecca will take care of that. We gotta get to the end. I think it's a straight shot too. I don't think we need to like go up and down levels or nothing. What the fuck? Oh fuck! Wow. Oh, damn that. Ooh, okay. What the fuck? Okay, hold on. We can use this to our advantage. Yep, 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 yep. Push him. Go, 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 go. All right, we're good. Jesus. What a nightmare. Oh, fu oh, stars. This guy's got body armor. It's not fair. Let's examine this really quick. Uh, to bypass the security lock on the brakes. Oh, I hope he's the one that needs to hold on to this. Alright, we're almost there. This should be the last one. There we go. Oh, wait, is there one more? Yes. This is it. It's a hand operated brake here. You'll need a magnetic card to operate it. Zero six zero 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 seven six. Okay. Uh. Am I just adding up? I think I am. Oh, that's that's stupid. This is Billy. That's a I've dumb code. The control device for the brake. Over. Roger. I'll put the brake on now. You better hold on to something. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm assuming that's zero zero, right? So thirty six. So nine, eighteen, um, twenty seven, thirty six.
Oh, I have to hit 36. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10, right? So... 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. Uh, yeah, 21, 24, 27... 27, 36. Big brain. Oh, Jesus, that is very fast. Holy crap. Good thing you could engage your brakes so you could crash anyway. <laughs> yeah, but this is a controlled crash. Rebecca? Uh-huh, yeah. Rebecca. You, she's on the other side of that train. Yeah. Or not. Are you alright? Hey, you managed to stop the train. Yes, we managed. We have to find a way out. Oh, what the? Oh. Okay. Is this all my stuff? Okay, good. Okay, cool. So they brought all my stuff here. Yeah, that's good. Thank God for the brakes. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh. Okay. Let's switch. Because he's he's better at combat, so I'd, I'd rather play as him when... Oops, nope. I keep doing that. Okay. So we're looking at caution and fine... She's got, like, no ammo. Alright. Now what? It's a good thing all our stuff, like, flew out. I'm assuming this will hurt me if I try to cross that, so I'm not gonna. Okay, let's go. Well, shit, that train section was way shorter than I thought it would be. The items only fall out if you have at least looked at them. Okay, good. I think we looked at everything, so... we or Everything I could see anyways, I'm sure... Ooh. Sometimes my controller does that. There we go. Alright. Oh. Not in the water. Oh, this sucks. This sewage water gives off a stench so bad it makes your eyes water. And this is a nice little place for... Sewage flows from the pipe down to the floor. It's a nice place for little leeches to come out of. Intermittent connectivity. <laughs> yeah, I think it's I just used it for so long that now it's a little um it's a little sensitive. And then it like my cord always gets stuck on like my keyboard and stuff. I gotta be more careful. I, I got a very cramped uh setup. Danger authorized personnel only. Okay. They just wanted the the, the characters to just walk through shit. Just, for no reason. Miss Cord Controllers? Yeah, I do too. Well, I mean, I, I like this. I like the option where you can... The Umbrella Research Center? Ooh! She 
he's, he's got the derpiest looking face. Oh. First general manager, Dr. James Marcus. Oh, Marcus. I think we've heard about him before. Who on earth are those people? She's just a rookie, a member of STARS. Hmm. What about the male? I'm unfamiliar with Attention. Mm -hmm. This is Dr. Marcus. What? Please be silent as we reflect upon our company motto. Obedience breeds discipline. Discipline breeds unity. Unity breeds power. And power leads power to the dark side. Is life. <laughs> who are you? It was I who scattered the T-virus in the mansion. <sighs> Needless to say, I contaminated the train to... What? Revenge on Umbrella. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ten years ago, Dr. Marcus was murdered by Umbrella. You helped them, didn't you? <laughs> Isn't Wesker just like in his 20s? Isn't, like, Wesker kind of young at, like, the beginning of Resident Evil 1? Unless he's talking to the other guy, the, the researcher, not Wesker. Maybe that's who he's talking to, because Wesker should be pretty young at this point. Uh, any Capcom, Capcom sewer section generally means a bad time. Yes, I agreed. Sewer levels are the worst. I hate them across all games. Never want to see them again, if I can. Obedience brings discipline. Discipline breeds unity. Unity breeds power. Power is life. Speaking of coming to Jesus, he's crazy. He's crazy. It's a huge portrait of the first director of the facility, James Marcus. Oh, do I? I wish I had my knife. I bet you, you could slash that. You gotta be able to slash that. You bored? I'm sorry, Rebecca. Are you bored? Huh? In this time of crisis, are you bored? Oh, look at that. That's the uh, Lady of Justice, and that's the Scales of Justice up there. I bet you can a bit in... I don't have the knife, right? Nah. I'll go check that out later. Hold on. We need to find a save point. Okay, cool. So they, they just made another mansion. That's fun. Uh, hold on. Excuse me. I see that red herb right down there. Let's go pick it up. What's this? Flame rages and fire you. The fire shows no signs of relenting. What? Is she just talking about the little sconce? Oh, look at this. There we go. Ink ribbon? Yes. Okay, cool. So this is kind of like a safe room. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Give me them herbs, baby. Give me the herbs. Good. What's this? Nothing. Cool. That's where we came... No, that's not where we came in from. The ceramic pot is decorated in a oriental style. There doesn't seem to be anything special about it. You gotta break it to know that for sure. Okay, so this is... The knight's sword firmly uh, bars access to the door. Hmm. Okay. There's a door over here. I don't want to go. Th okay, so this is where we came from. Okay, cool. Let's save. Um. All right. Let's take this. Let's just combine that. Oh, right. He can't do that shit. Exchange. That's silly. Okay. Combine that with that. Okay. Oh, I could just click triangle in here to do... Oh, my gosh. Okay. Now... Hmm. 
The problem is I don't want to leave her completely without ammo. Because what if I have to use her for something, right? Like some sort of combat encounter. Um, exchange. Okay. That'll at least give her something. So she's not completely... Alright. You know what? Let's do the smart thing. This is going to be a huge pain in the ass, but let's do it now. This seems like it's going to be an important save room, right? So... Uh -huh. Okay. Leave. Oh. <gasps> Fuck. I just used it, and she was in caution. Ugh. Okay. Alright. Let's go pick up all that stuff and bring it over here. Climb down the ladder. I think you're playing the preferred way as Billy. Besides the higher health, he also wastes a lot of ammunition. He also wastes a lot of ammunition when you play. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what I figured. This is what it like seemed to be hinting out in that like um little tooltip thing that they gave us. I can't believe I just wasted that red and green herb. That sucks. Mm. See, had I saved, I could just reload, but because I decided not to. Alright. That's just... You know what? Sometimes you're gonna... Sometimes you're gonna lose it. You're gonna lose. You're not gonna... You're not gonna... Roll snake eyes every time, I guess. Alright. Let's go pick this up. Should have room for one more thing. Let's pick up this knife. And then let's go to Billy. Billy! Pick this up. Yes. She's the smarts, he's the brawn. She's the brain, he's the brawn. Okay, that should be everything. Yep, okay. Oh, look, their guns are different. I mean, that that makes sense, but, like, that's fun. Okay. Let's go back. Can I do anything? What's this? Can I do anything with that? That looks like you could pick that up and maybe look in there. Nope. Okay. Alright, so I definitely never, like, seen any of this. This is all new to me, for sure. I know that I did a little bit of the train, but I don't think I ever, like, got past the, to this part. So I wanted to do this now because if I would have saved earlier, then I would have had to do this every single time, like if I died or whatever. But now because I did it now, I can save and not have to. All right, careful now. Don't be wasting shit. Uh, let's, let's, I don't feel like we need the shotgun shells yet. All right, let's see. You cannot leave any more in this room. Oh. Oh, really? Huh. Okay. That's fine. Let's go pick up the pistol. One of these pistols. Which one? Is this one mine or is this one Rebecca's? Uh, that looks like mine. And let's pick up some ammo. <clears throat> yes. And then this ink ribbon. To combine it with the one that we're carrying already. Okay. Now let's switch to Rebecca. Now she should be able to drop some of this stuff. Leave. 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 Okay. Now let's give her this pistol. So she's got something. And... I 
Maybe the idea is to like leave the gun behind and just have her only use the knife. So if she is going to attack something, she'll just use a knife. All right, let's see. Okay, well, wishful thinking. Equipped. Okay. Uh, let's leave that then. Okay. And let's leave this. So I don't accidentally use it. And let's save. Wait. Let's equip our weapon first. There we go. Okay. Yes. Hey, pretty good. Billy. Hall. Okay. Should still have room to... Yep, perfect. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right. Yeah, that's good. All right. We're going to take a break. We've been going for two and a half hours, so it's a good time to get up, stretch, get some water, go to the potty, and uh, we'll be back in a couple of minutes to continue playing some more Resident Evil Zero. Having a good time. Hope you're enjoying watching. Thanks for watching. Uh, stick around if you want, and we'll be back in like five, ten minutes. No, not much longer than that. All right. Stay sexy, stay beautiful. See you in a short amount of time. <laughs>